Hello, it's Mark Matosh here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be creating a sprite sheet. Now, this was requested by one of my viewers, which unfortunately I forgot to record, and I'm really sorry which who was your name. Please make sure you leave a comment below. <laughs> Please help me out by starting off and hitting that like button, and if you haven't, subscribe to me. I'm trying to hit 25,000 by the end of the year. Let's get into it. So this is what we've got at the moment. I'm just going to press play. And we can see the chap walking. So this character is from Character Creator 3 uh, from the Reillusion Suite. This walk cycle is part of the iClone 7 uh, suite as well. So make sure if you want that, go check it out. Link in the description. So let's just quickly pause it. We'll have a look what the character looks like. Lovely jubblies. He looks fine. Everything's transparent at the moment. What I've done is I've come into the film and made everything transparent. And I also made the world settings in emissions. So it's kind of like globally illuminating. I mean, I could have just um, put a HDRI on, but I just kind of went with the white for now. So from here, I'm just going to go back into the render settings, go back into film and turn on transparent. So this is what we have. I'm going to come up into the animation and let's come up here in the top left for edit type and we'll click on dope sheet. I like it up here for some reason. And I've already had a quick look and I can see probably about frame zero to 52 that is the full walk cycle i kind of the way i worked it out is by putting the 3d cursor in one location and it's pretty much the same spot so i'm going to grab everything from frame 53 box select select all that delete frames and maybe we'll select that one as well so there we go so now we've got a 52 frame cycle um but i don't want to make a 52 frame sprite sheet Let's make it a little bit smaller, so maybe 13 frames for the walk cycle. And so what I can do is put it back on frame one, select everything with A, scale. And because we want to go down to frame 13, if we divide 52 by four, that'll be 13. So I'm going to multiply, nah, maths, multiply by 0.25. And there we have it. So now if I come over into frame 13, We'll see it kind of goes really quick. <laughs> but because this is a sprite sheet, we can get away with having limited um, images because when we bring it over into a game engine, then we can make each frame take longer. So for instance, if I were to now grab all this and scale by four, just to show you what I'm talking about, back to 52 frames a second, I'm going to press T on the dope sheet here and we'll make it constant. And then we'll kind of have that effect. So let's just undo all that. And we can see that frame 14 is pretty much the same as frame one. So we don't actually need that one. So we will be rendering out frame one to frame 13. So now let's set up the camera so we can capture this. And I'm just going to render the first 13 frames. Shift S cursor to world origin. So we've got it in the center there. Shift A, let's add in our camera. I'm gonna come over into the render settings, sorry, the output properties and the resolution. Let's make it to 1024 by 20, 1024. So we wanna be able to have a lot of detail in these initial images. And then we'll bring down the size a little bit later. So let's go render, render animation, beautiful. And then if we go render view animation, we can see we've got that iffy walk. From here, let's open up a brand new blend file, delete that default cube as always. I'm gonna delete the sun lamp with the camera, Alt-R, Alt-G to reset the rotation and the location. Let's press R90 to rotate by 90 degrees on the X-axis. GY, we're just gonna move that back with the camera selected. Let's come up into type and orthographic. And we can see we've got this Duvalac happening now. Shift A, let's add in a plane, rotate X. So it's kind of facing the camera. From here, I'm gonna come up into shading. And let's kind of just zoom in on it. Over here on the right-hand side, let's create new and we'll call this Sprite. Actually, we'll just call it Sprite. And enter. In the material, shift A, search. Let's go image. We're gonna add in an image texture, put it into there. Open. And now let's go to where we uh, saved all our images. I'm gonna open up image one. And there we have it, we've got our character there, but obviously it's got that black. We're gonna come down here and set the alpha. Still black, but in the material panel, come all the way down into blend mode, we're gonna change that to alpha hashed. And so we've got now a pretty decent quality picture there. Now this is the kind of uh, repetitive 
part, I'm going to come over into modifiers. Let's add a modifier, array modifier, and I want to go four across. And let's go array modifier. And I want zero there and one here. Uh, did that go the right way? Let's go minus one. I like to go down. There we go. Four, four. And so if we have a look, we can see that we've got our four, um, 16 cells, I guess, if you want to call them. We need to put the camera into position, but first let's go into our output settings and we need to change the camera size. So we want probably each frame to be maybe 64 pixels. What we can do is actually go 64 times four and 64 times four, beautiful. Blender does our maths for us. I'm gonna press one. I'm gonna press G to move the camera and hold control. And that's where it's gonna go in the center of there. So we can see that's and that. However, the camera is not the right size. So let's come down into camera, orthographic, and it's going to be eight. So this is kind of like eight blender units cross, eight blender units up. And so that's kind of the scale that I'm assuming that it works off. It's worked for me in the past. So for now, back into our plane, let's come into here, let's apply the array, apply the array, and now we should have all independent cells. We do not. So from here, I have the whole cell selected. We know that none of the meshes are joined at the moment. I can do now P and separate by loose parts. And now you can see that we've got our 16 planes. And so we know that this is one. So this will be our two. We can add a new material on this one. This will be image two. This will be our image three. This one here, and this is kind of like the laborious part that we're gonna to have to do. So let me quickly do everything. And so I've gone through and done a one to 13, so 12, 13, and for this I can, oops, I can delete, delete, delete. And now if I put the camera like so, we can see this is what we've got. Um, let's make sure we've set our film to be transparent. So we want the background to be transparent and the world lighting we will change to emission i don't think we really need to do this but we will anyway and now if i press f12 there you go we've got our sprite sheet for the sake of the video let's say that um, you don't want it 64 by 64 but a little bit bigger so let's come up into here and we'll change 64 let's go 256 times 4 which is 1024 cool that makes life a little bit easier and f12 again there we go. Look at that. What a cool sprite sheet. If you like this video, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out, keeps up to date with my content. And if you have anything else that you would like to learn or like to know, please let me know in the comments below. It really lets me connect with you guys.